Hello guys, Dim Ducks here. Welcome to this video. So today I'm going to go over two of my trades that made me over $280,000 in one day. As you can see, some of the AI stocks are being really hot. For this video, we're going to talk about some of the technical analysis and including my entry, exit, and also some of the volume trending as well to make sure we are adapt to the current market. Other than that, check out the link in below for the new courses and let's get into the video. All right, so the first one we have is GFAI. You can see this one went from 4 to 21, so overall up about 500%. This is a low floater. Let's check out the, the historical chart. And this one did a reverse split, so all these resistance becomes useless. So it's going to be a fresh chart overall. And let's check out the volume that was traded before the momentum shifted. Total traded volume is around 40 million. So 40 million on the day before the momentum shifted. So right about here. So the stock consolidated between 14 to 16. The consolidation range exceeded over 25%. Didn't really pull the triggers on this day. Didn't touch it because the consolidation is way too wide. Also, the volume is overwhelming and it's also a fresh chart. So I waited until the following day. And since it closed really strong, I was expecting this one to go to uh, 30 to 40. But it turns out it gapped down, so it's showing weaknesses in the pre-market and also turned red. Typically, whenever you want to short these type of pre-first red day, you want to check out the support and resistance. The resistance was formed in the pre-market. Since it's a low flow, I was expecting this one to push after market open, but also I was a little bit hesitating to short uh, after the strength in the morning because uh, you can see there is uh, some type of support was formed before yesterday, which is 14 to 16. So I waited the push Shorted around 18, I was planning to add around 19 and 21 to risk the 21.9, 21.1 area. The stock dumped, so I added into the bounces right here. I was not expecting this one to fade all the way down, but it turns out it cracked through the support and consolidated between under the support level that was formed yesterday. So when the support gets cracked through like this, these type of support becomes resistance. Following day, it faded to eight dollar the overall gaining percentage is about 500 percent the overall fading percentage from the high that was formed around 21 is 75 percent so still following the average statistics and not including biotech so uh, this is the trade that i made size thing around 18 added around 17 average is close to 17.5 covered by the end of the day which is 13. i was going to hold this trade overnight since it didn't really fade into the maximum fading percentage but the overall borrow fee was kind of expensive i think it's around one to two dollars a share overnight so it's not really worth it and sizing in today which the volume is really low. So overall, for the entire day, only traded around 1.8 million shares. Maximum you can size in is probably 10K, uh, 10,000. And also the float is between 1.2 to 1.4. That means you cannot size in over 100K shares because you do not want to exceed 10% of the float. That's the review for GFAI. Then let's go over MWG. This is the ticker that happened on the same day as GFAI. First, uh, green day, 3 to 16. Overall gaining percentage is around 500%. Then showed pre-market weaknesses and I took a short around 11.5. I think the first entry was around 12, then 11.5. Left it there. I was expecting this one to go to seven, so I covered most of my shares around seven and the rest of it around uh, four to five. And this is IPO play. Typically, IPO play fades a little bit more compared to the average reverse split. And when it's trading on low volume, it also tends to fade much more than usual. Since the volume was really low, didn't really size in too much. Overall, it's around 20K shares total. You can see the volume was not that much. Only traded around four million shares. So try not to exceed a 1% of the volume, 10% of the float, and uh, the maximum can size in, which will be um, 40K in this day. Wasn't a bad trade. Total, I made around 180, then another 80K on MWG. All right, guys, that'll be the two tickers review for probably this week. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.